This is a video where we use the design equation for a plug flow reactor. So let's say we have reaction A go to B. And it has a kinetic constant at, oh, a kinetic constant at 1 over 4 minutes. So really what's that? That's saying just 0 0.25 minutes to the power of negative 1. So we're assuming that then this must be, if K is that, this is a first order reaction. So this is first, first order. Now we're going to assume we have an isothermal system, isothermal. And the reason we're assuming it's an isothermal system because we're assuming that K throughout the entire system is at a constant one fourth minutes, one over four, one over four minutes. If it's changing in temperature, K is going to change. So we're just assuming that it's isothermal. So let's say we have some pipe. We have some pipe. Now, we don't know the volume of this pipe, and we actually want to find the volume of this pipe. So we want to find the volume of the pipe. And let's say we have a velocity of the fluid flowing through here, so v naught. So v naught is equal to, let's say, Oh, a hundred, a hundred liters per uh, minute, relatively quick. So, if we're if we're assuming that's a perfect pipe and it's not expanding or anything, that means that V not or just V out is also a hundred liters per minute. Now, let's just graph this to see what it would look like for a first order reaction. So, if we were to graph a plug flow reactor, plug flow reactor, initially at time zero, at time zero, or volume zero. So right here, once it enters the system, no reaction has occurred. So this is a CA naught, the initial concentration of A. Now we don't know the initial concentration of A, but we want it to go to 10%. So we want we want 90% of A consumed. So we want to go to 0 0.01 CA naught. So where we only have 10% of A that we initially had. Now, for our, a first order reaction, you would think that initially we have a really quick, because the concentration of A is really high, we have a really quick or fast consumption of A. But over time, as the volume increases, so this is volume, so really volume is related to time, because the longer you're in the pipe, the bigger the pipe, the, the longer the pipe is, the um, concentration will actually decrease. So, so you'll actually have a high concentration of A here, high concentration of A, concentration of A here, and a low concentration of A here, low concentration of A. So I'm just gonna put CA. So this is actually just CA naught. So yeah, so you have a high concentration of here, up here, and a low concentration down there. Now you'd expect, since it's a first order reaction, then really RA is equal to K. CA. So when you have a high concentration, you have a really quick reaction. So the concentration of A is actually going to decrease, and it'll actually decrease exponentially, as we'll see later on. Because as it gets down here, the concentration of A decreases, so you don't have much much of A being consumed, and it looks something like that. And we want to find the volume, the volume that will give us a concentration of 0.1, or 10% of the initial concentration of A. So, if we remember the design equation, design equation, whoops, equation for a plug flow reactor, plug flow reactor, that is, the plug flow reactor is dFA over dV is equal to RA. So, that is our design equation for a plug flow reactor. So now, if we remember the concentration of A is equal to the molar flow rate of A divided by the velocity of the fluid. So the initial concentration of A is equal to the initial flow rate, molar flow rate of A, all divided by the flow rate of the of the fluid through the system. So this is, FA is moles over time, and this is liters per time. So what we get, we just get moles per liter. So that, again, that's just a concentration. So then really, we get D 
F A is equal to is equal to D C A times V naught. And V naught is a constant, so what we get we get D F A is equal to V naught D C A. So we get that so far. So then we can actually plug this back into our design equation. So now we have D actually V naught times DCA all divided by DV. And that's equal to the reaction rate, RA. RA. So now if we remember that for a first order reaction, the reaction rate was actually right there. So really we can just rewrite this as as this. We just put KCA. And that's actually a negative. So this is actually negative now. And now we just want to do a little bit of rearranging. We get a negative V naught all divided by K times DCA over CA is equal to DV. So all we did was multiply both sides by DV and divide both sides by negative KCA. So then if we continue on doing this, and we integrate this system, so we just now integrate, and we want to integrate from CA naught, CA naught, to CA. CA, or actually 0 0.1 CA. So if we integrate, we now get a negative V naught over K times a natural log, the natural log of CA naught, CA naught, all divided by CA, and actually this would be a positive just due to the integration, is equal to V. So now this is our design equation for a plug flow reactor that is, that is first order. So this is a first order plug flow reactor design equation. So now if we were to plug in our information, we know that K is 1 divided by 4 minutes, and V is 100 liters per minute, and we know that CA, CA is actually, at the end, CA is equal to 0 0.1 CA naught, so we can just put this as 0 0.1 CA naught. So if we do that, if we plug that into, a, into an equation, we will get 100 decimeters, so actually it's 100 liters per minute, divided by 1 over 4 minutes, minutes, times the natural log of 10, and that should be a thousand, I think, around a thousand. So I'm just going to do that real quick. That is equal to 921 liters. So we found the volume required for a plug flow reactor to convert to convert some initial concentration of A to 10% or to consume 90% of A.